they were an interesting bunch of guys. And I mean, they came at a cultural moment in the whole history of the country that was interesting. I mean, things, all kinds of things were going on. And, you know, they were extremely, uh, I, I, nobody had ever heard anything like this stuff before. Not at this kind of commercial level that they got to. And so they were, they were fascinating guys. And then um, when I read the script, I just thought, you know, it's, it's an exciting story and it's big and it's epic and they're interesting guys, but then it's also very exciting and in all different kinds of ways. Jerry Heller was their manager and uh, he was a music manager in the, you know, for a long time. And in the 60s and 70s, he was a pretty significant guy. And um, he managed a lot of big people and big acts. And, and it's kind of amazing when you read the list of people. And he, uh, he had fallen on somewhat hard times, though, for various reasons, I think. And then saw these guys and heard their music and genuinely responded to it and took them on as a manager. And there's certainly controversy around him. People have different things to say about him. These guys, I feel, I feel like, actually treat him pretty even-handedly in this, which is nice. It was interesting for me to be able to play that, a guy who can be just two very different people. I worked with Gary a long time ago, and he does the same thing. He's really good with actors. He's really good at picking the actors and working with the actors each, the way each actor needs to be worked with. It's a real skill, knowing how to talk to each person the way they need to be talked to. He's got a very kind of dynamic vision of stuff and everything, the other movie I did with him too. But, you know, he really will, he, the, he did this on the other movie and he did it on this, which was to kind of work things a lot and let them kind of float around a bit and work them and let them go over and over again and play around with them and all of a sudden it starts catching hold and gelling and then you start hitting the scene the right way and then he blows it out again and then he pulls it back again. I mean it's very like he keeps it really alive for the actors which is a real trick and I think he kept it really really lively in a, in a really good way. I've done other movies with concerts and they're hard to do. I mean, you can make them look good and stuff like that and you can give them with a lot of tricky camera work, but these just felt standing there like they were real and really exciting. And part of that is how great the music is. But then these guys sold it, those guys sold it in an amazing way so that it felt really real, more so than other movies I've done like that. Hey Lisa here with a fascinating movie fact. Now did you know Hoyt Axton, who plays inventor Rand Peltzer in Gremlins, was a renowned folk singer, songwriter in the 1960s? His most famous song, The Pusher, was covered by Steppenwolf and used in the soundtrack to Easy Rider. Hmm, now I bet you didn't know that one. I sure didn't. Now don't forget to download our Film Is Now app for instant access to all our trailers.